A really popular question that I heard a lot on the interview is what is the difference between web workers and service workers in the JavaScript? And the answers that people are typically giving are not great. The worst answer here that you can tell, this is the same thing. This is why by the end of this video you will understand the differences between these two technologies and why do you need to use them at all. And just from the beginning I want to mention that if you don't know an answer to the question, it is better to say no, trying to guess the answer and telling the interviewer that service workers and web workers is the same thing is not a great idea. Your answer is wrong anyway, but you just try to guess. So what are web workers and service workers? These are two JavaScript technologies which are really popular, completely stable and you can use them in all browsers. As you can see here in Can I Use, I opened web workers. You can see all browsers are green, we can safely use it. The same is about service workers, here as you can see all modern browsers are supported. What do we need to use web workers for? As JavaScript is single threaded, it is difficult to make long computation because the whole browser is frozen. It happens because JavaScript executes this long computation and during this time any interaction with the website is not possible. This is why we need to fix that and the best solution is to move this logic on the server side on the backend when it is possible. Why is that? Because it is always better to put load on the server and not on the browser of the client. But it is not always possible, this is why we are getting to web workers. And the main idea is that we can instantiate a web worker, start calculations there and when these calculations are ready we will notify our application that we are good. The main point is that our main thread won't be blocked and our website will be still working. How does it look from the code perspective? Here I have a component and in order to create a web worker we are using new worker and we are providing here a URL which is relative to our path. As a second parameter we are providing import meta URL which will be exactly the URL of this file. Now let's have a look on our app worker. In our app worker the main thing that we have is add event listener message. So when we instantiate our worker it is listening to the messages from the outside. Which means in our app worker we can trigger this worker post message in order to emit some message to our worker. This message, this whole object comes here in our app worker and we can read data from it and do some calculations. For example when we want to do sum we are calling this sum function with big calculation, we are getting a result and after this we are executing a function post message where we provide some response. This is how web worker can give us back this data. Now inside our web component at the beginning we are subscribing to these messages from the worker by calling this worker on message and here we will get all our events and we can do something with the result. In this case our application continues working and when we are getting data we simply show them in our application. But why do we need service workers and what is this? This is something completely different, it doesn't have anything to do with web workers or long calculations that we want to do. Service workers is a technology that allows us to first of all cache some resources in our application inside service workers and secondly our website can be available offline because we cached these resources, which actually means we already have in the browsers all resources like JavaScript, HTML, CSS and we can show our website even when we are offline. And we can do it even better when user interacts with the offline website. We can save this data and when we are coming back online we can send this data to the backend. This makes the user experience seamless even when he loses internet connection. How can we implement service workers in the application? In order to do that after page load we are calling navigator.serviceworker.register and inside we are passing a path to our file but this is actually a route, it is slash serverworkers.js so this file must be available as a root file in your browser. Here I have it in my project serviceworker.js and we can open it. What happens here are three different callbacks. We have here a callback with install, this line, then we have a fetch and we have activate. And we are starting here with install and when our service worker is installed we want to cache all our resources that we are providing here. On the top I have URLs to cache 
and we are just adding them all to the cache. This caches them and our application can use them, but we didn't write anything about offline mode. In order to do that, we are using fetch. And let's look on this part. Here inside fetch, we are checking if we have the request that we are trying to get, like CSS file, inside our cache. And if yes, then we are responding with our cache. And if no, then we are fetching the data. And again, this will work for both offline and online which means we won't request the resources from the server if they are already cached in the service worker. Additionally to that, we can write manual logic, like for example, if we found a request URL with slash to do's, we can try to make a request. And after we did it successfully by using put, we save the response inside service worker. If we are doing this request and we already cached this data, we are coming to cache because our fetch failed, then we can use the response from our service worker here, which actually means we are bringing data even when we are offline. For example, now I am offline, but this to do one and to do two are coming from service worker and our application continues to work. And the last thing that we have is activate, which allows us to clean old cache when we don't need it. So as you can see, these technologies are completely different, but they are both really useful. But if you think that you lack some knowledge to prepare for JavaScript interview, I have a list of JavaScript interview questions in the free PDF that I prepared for you, and you can download it in the description box below.